So these are the rounds that I tried firing. You can see that the rims on them are smashed flat and bent because the extractor can't make it over the lip, except on the one that actually fired. And this one's kind of interesting too because it looks like the firing pin went in too far. I mean, I could be mistaken, but this one for whatever reason worked fine. It loaded fine, it extracted and it fired. But the rest of these, when you try loading them in, you get these flat spots on the rim. If this happens to your 410 AR-15, stay tuned, I have a fix coming up right now. So after about an hour of fiddling with the bolt on my AR-410, what I was starting to realize is that the main issue, again, we knew that the extractor was an issue, that it wouldn't go over the rim of the shell. And it's kind of hard to tell, but when the round is in the edge of the bolt where it needs to be, you can see that this is the extractor it actually is completely underneath the rim of the shell. So it's not even engaging the tapered part of this extractor in order to go over the rim of the shell. It's like completely under the rim. So that's the main issue. Then I get to thinking what's the easiest way to solve that, and that's actually spacing out the extractor a tiny bit. So the fix, you pop out your extractor pin, take your extractor out, in some extractors, when you get them, they give you this little tiny O-ring, and I think it's supposed to go under the spring to put more tension on it, but if you put it on this end of the extractor channel, and then you put your extractor back in, which is very simple, now what you have is the extractor stands proud by about two or three thousandths off the face of the bolt, and now, the shell very easily goes right under the extractor, like so, which is exactly how it's supposed to work. So I think that's the fix, and I'll put the bolt back in the shotgun and show you that it works now. Alright, so previously the bolt would never close. I'm going to take this spent hull that I took the primer out of shove it in the chamber and now watch how easily the bolt closes just like it should and if i can pull it out which now i need to put the bolt handle in watch you can see it still ejects fine i think i fixed the problem very simple fix that's all it took was that couple of thousands for that thing to be able to go over the rim simple fix and i'm ready to go shooting again